Welcome to the Kiva Partner Academy. This lesson explains how to post a new loan for a group. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to use Kiva's partner admin system, PA2, to post a new loan for a group, and understand how the loan you post in PA2 will appear when it is published on Kiva's website. This lesson is intended for the Kiva coordinator and any other staff who will post loans. You should understand the five steps of how to post a new loan. Before we learn about PA2, let's take a quick look at how a loan appears when it is published on Kiva's website. Each month, Kiva's field partners post thousands of loans in PA2. These loans are then published on Kiva's website for lenders, located at www.kiva.org. Kiva lenders browse the loans and decide which ones they want to fund. It is important to remember that Kiva does not guarantee that loans posted on its website will be funded. Financing of a specific loan is entirely dependent on Kiva lenders choosing to fund that loan. On Kiva's website, each loan is represented by a borrower profile. Let's take a closer look at a borrower profile now. For a group loan, the borrower profile includes the group name, location, photo, and detailed information about one member of the group, known as the featured borrower. It also includes information about the loan, including the loan amount, dispersal date, and repayment schedule. Kiva lenders use all of this information to decide whether or not they want to fund the loan, so it is important to make sure that all information is accurate. In addition, remember that Kiva lenders have thousands of loans to choose from, so it is important to make your loans stand out. A good photo, an interesting story, and a detailed loan use can help a loan fund more quickly. Now that we've seen how a loan looks once it is published, let's learn about the process of posting a new loan. Before you begin posting a loan, choose one member of the group to be the featured borrower. The featured borrower can be the group leader or any other member of the group who agrees to have more detailed information featured on Kiva's website. Next, make sure you have collected the following information. For the group, the group name, group client ID, group loan ID, location, consolidated repayment schedule, and photo. For each member of the group, including the featured borrower, you need the given name, family name, gender, loan amount, individual client ID, and individual loan ID. For the featured borrower only, you'll need the loan use and personal details. Please note that for the client IDs and loan IDs, you either need to have a group ID or individual IDs for each client. If the group consists of 10 or more members, we recommend that you prepare a CSV or Excel file with group member information. PA2 will allow you to upload or copy the information from the file. The repayment schedule should be a CSV or Excel file that is formatted as follows. Please remember that this should be a consolidated schedule for the entire group. In column 1, the collection date. In column 2, principal due, in column three, interest due. We strongly recommend that you download or copy the repayment schedule directly from your organization's MIS, your database. However, if this is not possible, PA2 will allow you to generate a schedule by specifying the parameters of repayment. For the group photo, if the group has five or fewer members, all members must be in the photo. The group has six or more members, at least 80% of members must be in the photo, including the featured borrower. Now that we have gathered all the information we need, let's watch a video demonstration of how to post a group loan in PA2. This video was recorded in Kiva's test system, so please disregard the orange banner at the top. To begin the process of posting a new loan, log in to PA2 and click the New Loans tab. For the loan type, select Group Loan. In the Group Client ID field, enter the ID that uniquely identifies the group in your organization's database. 
it is important to enter an accurate group client ID so that you can easily track this group in PA2. In addition, a group client ID enables you to relist this group should they take additional loans in the future. Note that some partners may not have access to relisting. In the group loan ID field, enter the ID that uniquely identifies the group loan in your organization's database. You can leave this field blank if your organization does not use group loan IDs, but then you must enter individual loan IDs. It is important to enter an accurate group loan ID or individual loan IDs so that you can easily track this loan and report repayments in PA2. Next, enter the name of the group. This field is optional. If you do not enter a name, the group will automatically be named after the first member listed. For example, David's group. The group will appear on the profile that is published on the Kiva website. Next, you will need to enter personal information for each member of the group, including the given name, family name, gender, individual client ID, and individual loan ID. If you did not prepare a CSV or Excel file with group member information, you must enter this information manually. Add rows for additional members by clicking the plus or the plus 10 buttons. If you prepared a CSV or Excel file with group member information, you do not need to manually enter this information in PA2. Instead, you should click the Upload CSV File slash Paste from Excel button. In the pop-up box, you can upload the CSV file. PA2 will automatically pull the information from the CSV file into Step 1. Note that the loan amounts will be pulled into Step 2. You also have the option of pasting the information from the CSV or Excel file. The given names of group members will appear on the profile that is published on the Kiva website. However, family names will never be shared publicly. Next, select the group's location. This can be the location of the group's branch or the town or region where group members live or work. If the group's location is not already available in the menu, you can add it by selecting the Add Another Town option. In the pop-up box, Enter the town name and click the Add New Town button. We recommend that you keep the list of locations short in order to make it easier to pick the appropriate option in the future. The group's location will appear on the profile that is published on Kiva's website. Next, select the sector and activity that most closely match the loan use of the featured borrower. Please do not attempt to select the sector and activity that represent the entire group. The sector and activity will appear on the profile that is published on Kiva's website. This information helps Kiva lenders find loans that they are interested in supporting. The language menu automatically defaults to the primary language used for your borrower profiles. If you are writing this profile in a different language, please be sure to select the correct language. Next, you will see the beginning of a sentence that reads, this borrower will use this loan. Please continue this sentence with a text that explains exactly how the featured borrower will use the loan. Do not attempt to enter a loan use that represents the entire group. Begin with the word to, for example, to repair his taxi, or to buy seedlings for her farm. This loan use will appear on the profile that is published on Kiva's website and it is among the first pieces of information that Kiva lenders will see. Lenders need to understand exactly how the featured borrower will use the loan, so please be as specific as possible and avoid vague statements such as to expand the business or to add working capital. Finally, write a detailed description about the featured borrower. It's also a good idea to identify who the featured borrower is in the photo. The description may also include general information about the group or other group members. 
but the featured borrower must be clearly emphasized. The description will appear on the profile that is published on Kiva's website. Kiva lenders enjoy learning about the featured borrower's family, living situation, business, and hopes for the future. After you have finished entering all the information for Step 1, click the Save and Continue button to proceed to Step 2. On Step 2, start by selecting the loan theme. Generally, a loan theme corresponds to a specific loan product offered by your organization. Each loan theme has a special credit limit, so it is important to select the correct theme. Next, select a dispersal date for the loan. The dispersal date can be no more than 30 days in the past or 90 days in the future. The dispersal date will appear on the profile that is published on the Kiva website. Next, select the currency of dispersal and enter the loan amount for each member of the group. If you uploaded a CSV or Excel file with group member information, the loan amount will already be filled in for you. The total loan amounts for the group will be converted to US dollars for the profile that is published on the Kiba website. Next, enter the group repayment schedule. If you have an Excel file with the schedule, you can copy and paste the schedule directly into PA2 and click the Apply Pasted Schedule button. If you have a CSV file with the schedule, click the Upload CSV File tab. Then click Choose File to select and upload the file. If you do not have an Excel or CSV file, you can generate a schedule by specifying the parameters of repayment. Start by clicking the Specify Parameters tab. Select the first date that a repayment is due. Enter the number of installments. Specify how often repayments are due. For example, every two weeks or every one month. Finally, select the interest type and enter the annualized interest rate. Click the Create Schedule Below button to automatically generate a schedule based on the information that you entered. Carefully review the schedule to ensure that it is accurate. If necessary, make edits to the schedule to ensure that it exactly matches the schedule in your organization's database. For example, if PA2 automatically generates a schedule with repayment dates falling on a weekend or holiday, you may need to edit the schedule to have the correct payment dates. The repayment schedule will appear on the profile that is published on Kiba's website. Lenders will expect to receive repayments according to the schedule, so it is important that the schedule is accurate. After you have finished entering all the information for Step 2, Click the Save and Continue button to proceed to Step 3. On Step 3, click the Choose File button and select the photo or video of the group on your computer. If not all members are present in the photo or video, check the boxes next to the members who are missing. Remember, if the group has five or fewer members, all members must be in the photo. If the group has six or more members, at least 80% of members must be in the photo. The photo or video will appear on the profile that is published on Kiva's website, and it is one of the most important components of the profile. A good photo can help a loan to fund more quickly. After you have finished uploading the photo or video, click the Save and Continue button to proceed to Step 4. On Step 4, start by selecting the Loan Representative. The menu will only include those loan representatives who have accounts in PA2. This field is optional, and PA2 will record the name of the staff member who posted the loan, regardless of whether this field is used. Next, confirm that the setting for currency exchange loss coverage is correct. This setting is only applicable if you disperse loans in a currency other than US dollars. If you would like to change the setting, you can do so under the Account tab. Please see the PA2 manual for more information. Finally, review the privacy settings for the loan. By default, the given names of group members will be displayed on Kiva's website. However, if you wish for group members to appear as anonymous, you can select that option here. Please note that anonymous profiles tend to fund more slowly.
As a reminder, the family names will never be shared publicly. By default, the group's location will also be displayed on Kiva's website. However, if you wish to hide the group's location, click the blue Hide Location link. If the group's location is hidden, Kiva lenders will still be able to see the group's country. However, they will not be able to see the town or region. Once you have finished selecting all settings, click the Save and Continue button to proceed to Step 5. Step 5 is the final step in the process of posting a new loan. You're almost done. Thoroughly review all of the information you enter during steps 1 to 4 to ensure that it is accurate. If you find an error, correct it by clicking the Edit link in the relevant section. Once you have confirmed that all of the information is accurate, click the Publish button to submit the loan to Kiva. Please note that if any required information is missing, you will see a red error message and the Publish button will not be available. That's it! You have now posted a new loan. Congratulations! Here's one more tip before we end this lesson. When posting a new loan, you can stop partway through the process and save the loan as a draft. To save a group loan as a draft, you must enter the name of at least one group member. When you click the Save and Continue button, PA2 saves a draft of the loan. Then, you can come back to PA2 at any time and click the Drafts link on the Home tab. You will see a list of all your drafts. Click the Open slash Review button to open a draft and continue where you left off. Now that you have completed this lesson, you should be able to use Kiva's Partner Admin System PA2 to post a new loan for a group, and understand how the loan you post in PA2 will appear when it is published on Kiva's website. Thank you for completing this lesson of the Kiva Partner Academy. We hope to see you again soon.